What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Ark Aberration Ascended. Last we left off, we tamed a female Megalosaurus, not the greatest level, only a 125. But we also tamed a Baryonyx, level 140. And a couple of Shinehorns, which is good. And we're at the new base, you know, just chilling and whatever. That ceiling does look a little weird, but you know what? I'm not going to question it. So, um, yeah, I did some more off-camera work, so if we go over here, I'll show you what I've done. See that big building there? That wasn't there before, was it? So let me show you what I did. So if we come over here, first things first, I took away the ladder, and now we have an elevator. I had to settle for a medium-sized elevator because the large one wouldn't move for some reason. So we've at least got an elevator anyway. And, uh, over here. Boom. The breeding pen. We've got a few spinos here. We've got aberrant spino. Hold on. You guys should be called perfect female. I'm gonna change your name to perfect female. I'll change these all to perfect female. So while we do that, I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do in today's episode. In today's episode... I want to go out and tame a dire bear. A stronger dire bear. We have one, but it's only a level 40. Not the greatest level. So I figured we tame that. And we got the uh, two megalosaurs breeding up, including the one that I tamed last episode. So we'll see what happens here. We've got another spino egg. You're a 208, so nah. Alright, we'll get rid of you. Let me just drop that, because... And we also got the imprinted Megalosaurus, so we're good to go on that. And I'm thinking we're taking one of the Ravagers out. We're gonna take one of the Ravagers out. That way there, we'll have time to, you know, scout around and do whatever. And we could shoot off the back of it, so... We don't have to worry about any Megalosaurs or anything like that, so... Right now. I've just been waiting on a... 90% night so I can go back to the surface because right now it's like at a 90% day which is not what we want at all so yeah we'll go down and we'll see if we can find a dire bear I should have enough darts if we can go after two dire bears like a breeding pair then we'll then we'll definitely do some breeding but at least one high level dire bear in today's episode so the lowest I'll probably go is 120, but that might be pushing it a little. We'll definitely go for like a 130 or something, or higher than that. Max level would obviously be great, but we can't be too picky because Aberration is known for a lot of garbage levels, unlike the center, which is known for a lot of high levels. All right. So let's take the Ravager out. We'll take Tiffany. And then we'll go from there. Where's the perfect female Ravager with the saddle? Alright, you know what? I should probably give you another name. Jinx. You can be Jinx. Jinx the Ravager. First of all, what's weighing us down? Probably all this stuff. So let's put some stuff away so we're not over encumbered or whatever. Alright, I think we're ready to go. I think we are ready to go, so... Let's take out Jinx. Alright. So taming a dire bear, they pretty much spawn anywhere around here. Up, oh, we got a scorpion. Let's kill you. We could take the uh, spino, but, you know, what's the sense? Alright, let's look around. Oh, hello. Where'd you come from? Ah, I gotcha. I gotcha, Yeeling. <laughs> You know what we should take? We should take the Gigantoraptor just in case we run into any more Gigantoraptors. Like a high level Gigantoraptor or something. We need to find a high level male so we can breed them up at some point. Because Gigantoraptors have kind of been, you know, they've kind of been game changing, if you ask me. The lowest I'll go is a 120, but that's it. Anything lower than that, so a 115, nah. We're turning that down. Because we kind of need this dire bear to be strong. Hello, scorpion. Goodbye, scorpion. 
All right, bears typically spawn inland. Let's let those stagos do their thing. Is that a better? That's a 100 wall rat. That might be better. And you know what? I'll play me with the gigantic raptor. All right, dragonflies, get out of here. So we at least have a better level. Good job, Nanny. Alright. I'm bringing the Gigantoraptor for the levels. That's a 95 roll rat. Maybe if the roll rats are the opposite gender, we could get an imprinted version. What gender is this one? This one is a female. So if the other one's a male, we could easily breed them up. All right, let's see if we can find a dire bear. Save our progress just in case. Oh, oh, hello. Goodbye, Basilisk. They make the strangest noises. We got some prime if we need it. And we got Trank Dart, so hello. You are 85? That's not bad. But not what we're looking for. Sorry. No lower than a 120. Yeah, if the levels are going to be lower, you need to lower your expectations. That's what I've learned when playing this game. If you go for maps with higher levels, you'll have higher expectations. Lower levels, lower your expectations. Okay, there's a couple right here. There's also a baby. That's a 20. No way they're both 20. kill the baby as well. We got two of them. We can definitely do better than that. Okay, that's a 145. We're definitely going for that. 145 and it is a male, which means we will need a female to um to do this. We'll need a female to get a breeding couple. So. Oh, you got babies. Even better! Once we tame the parent, we could easily get the babies as well. Just a papa bear trying to take care of his offspring. And down goes the 145 dire bear. Oh, no, wait! Ah, damn it! I think it hit the dire bear. Yeah. Son of a... I think it might have lost taming effectiveness. I mean, we could tame the baby. I think it had two babies. And this one's mutated. This one's a female. Hmm. I'm not sure. Why did that Yi Ling have to shoot it? <sighs> Alright, well. Let's see what the taming effectiveness, how bad it is. 95. Actually, that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Alright, so what I'll do... Alright, uh, we got two babies here. So what I'll do is I'll, um, get the Gigantoraptor ready. And then I'll, um, I'll tame up these three. And then we'll, uh, we'll bring them back to base. And then we'll get an imprinted Dire Bear. I'll, uh, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. And there we have it. Dire Bear has been tamed. It did lose a level, but you know what? It's fine. Oh, this is, of course, this is the wrong Gigantoraptor. We want this one. We want Nanny. All right. Search out the babies. No, don't get off. Claim the kid. At least the mutated one. Oh, we got the mutated one with a bunch of levels. Wasn't there another one? There it is. I see it. There we go. We got some extra levels. That's good. Thanks to Nanny, we've got extra levels. All right, we got two more levels. Let's go up. Let's go up into hell a little bit. All right. Nanny, good job. All right. Let's see what we got. 
Okay, at least one of the bears is a female, so that's good. We'll have a breeding pair. So what I might do, and I think the female is the mutated one, so that works out kind of-ish. Alright, so what we're gonna do, we'll head back to base and- oh, great. Aren't we too far in the series to be doing that? Hold on. These are the these are the shrooms we use to counter it. All right, good to know. Good thing I had those on me. That was very lucky. Finding a 145 bear along with two babies, one of them being the opposite gender. So that worked out. That really did work out. So I'll see you guys back at base, where we, um, where we'll breed them up and see if we can get some imprinted versions. And I'll put them in the place, and I'll probably put them in the same place I'm breeding the Ravagers at. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, and we're back at base. So if we take a look at what we have, we'll check out their stats or whatever. They'll probably have the same stats. So, all right. So this was the wild dire bear that we tamed. It did lose a couple of levels, but that's fine. Oh, it's got terrible health. 28 points into health. That's it. 34 into stamina, oxygen, food. No one cares. 38 into weight. 47 into melee is not bad, though. And these guys... Oh, you had 32 points into health. You know what? That That's even better. And this guy had 27. So the female had 32 points into health, 38 into stamina, oxygen, food, no one cares. 38 into weight and 40 into melee. And then this one had 27 points into health, 30 into stamina, oxygen, food, no one cares. 41 into weight and 45 into melee. You know what? I know which ones I want to breed. This one with this one. So the father with the daughter. Normal sentence and arc. Completely normal sentence and arc. I need to clarify that. All right, so we'll breed up the dire bears and see what goes on here. And it's nightfall. What are we on? 90% day, 10% night. So that's not too good. All right, we got the imprinted Megalosaurus here. And uh, we got some meat in our inventory, I think. No, we don't. But we do have meat in there, so we should be good to go. All right, so we need a 230 for the Ravager. Let's see if we got a 230. Ah, we got a 230. We got a 232 as well. Okay, just out of curiosity, let's see what this one is. We got a triple melee mutation. Let's go. What's this one? Food. Oh, that's the 232. That's the double one. So we got a health and a food. And then for this one, we got a food. All right. The 232 seems interesting. Let me see what this one looks like real quick. This, so this is what we... Alright, this one's got a pink stomach. You know, whatever, I'll keep you as like a spare Ravager. Alright, M2, you're coming out of... You're going into retirement. And then this one here is the triple melee mutation. Make way for... Enable mating. For M3. So we know what we got. So now we've got three melee mutations, which is awesome. So we got a melee mutation from them. All right, so what we need is the perfect stats for these guys. We need the 32 points into health and the 47 points into melee. The male had terrible health, but really good melee. So we'll try to get that. So while the bears breed up, we could do um you know what actually we should we should breed up the shine horns just to get an extra set of shine horns so we can get an imprinted shine horn all right random bulldog light please all right so the shine horns are breeding up so that should be good to go and then while we're at it let's check on the spinos and the megalosaurs so let's go up this elevator makes it so much easier and then afterwards after we hatch up some Spino and Megalosaur eggs, we'll look at the Dire Bears, see if we got the perfect stats, and then we'll take the imprinted one out for a spin. So that's what we'll do. 
and then we'll let them breed up a couple times until we get the perfect stats from the same level. All right, so we'll hatch up these eggs, and then we'll see what we get from here. So I think what we want for the perfect male or the perfect female, we want a level 218 with the Megalosaurs. So then we could start breeding them up, get a couple more females, and then we can see if we can get some mutations with the Megalosaurs. As for the Spinos, we need a second mutation. We need to see if we can get a 212. That's next on the Spino's agenda. All right, let's start with the Megalosaurs. We've got five eggs. Do we have a 218? No, we don't. We got 214 and a 212. This one had a mutation. This one had a melee mutation. Uh, I'll, I'll look at you. I'll look at you. Let's see what else we got. We got a... 190, 208, 208. I think those guys were twins. Got a 212 and a 203. So they're all... What we could do is get like... Try to get 30. You lost the health and you lost the melee. So... And you lost the health. There's really no point in keeping any of you. Alright, and the Spinos. We need a 212 for these guys. 212. We got one. And it's a food mutation. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Alright, kill them all. We don't want no food mutation. I'll put one more crowd pod in there. Oh yeah, we got the roll rat. Let's see if we got like a high level roll rat. Tiffany. Light, please. Thank you. All right, so the level 100 was a female. So if we could get this one as a male. You're a male. Okay, perfect. We could breed you guys up. We'll probably put you guys up there. And then this down here will be the area for, like, smaller creatures and whatever. Yeah, that's what we'll do. All right, can I jump this without dying? Let's find out. We're good, we're good. All right. Fast learner. Wait, what's this? What's the uh, gene of the other one? Warm. Okay, you're warm. Good to know. We need to get that gene thing at some point. Actually, that's something we could we could do. Let me see. Uh, gene scanner, I think it's called. All right, gene scanner. There it is. What do we need for that? 10 black pearls, 10 electronics, 60 polymer. Polymer's not a problem. Electronics shouldn't be a problem. Crystal, 80 crystal, and 40 metal. Hmm. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. We don't have a smithy anymore. I forgot because it's all up there. All right. Let's check on... Let's check on these guys. See what we got. Alright, so what do we need for Ravagers? So a 232 now. 232. Nothing, alright. Nothing on the Ravager. Oh, Dire Bear. We need... Dire Bear, alright. We got nails, alright. You lost the health. And you lost the... You both lost the health. Alright, what about the Shine Horns? I'll collect any Shine Horns we may have. We also got to get the hazmat suit going at some point. This is also a good source of green gems. We also need to get some better weapons because we all have all primitive weapons. Drops haven't really given us any weapons. Except for the surface drops. Alright, let's head back and see if we can breed up those mole rats or roll rats. Why are they called roll rats and not mole rats? Because, essentially, they're mole rats. That's what they essentially are. So why are they called roll rats? Because they have this rolling ability? Okay. My point is, roll rat is a dumb name for a creature. That's, that's my point. Alright, we're on a 90% uh, night. Okay, I should probably do a surface run off camera. I think we have until 11... So it's like 4.30 now. 
Hmm. Might be a little bit risky to do a surface run. Huh. You know what? I'll do that on my spare time. I'll do another surface run on my spare time. See how that goes. And then we'll go from there. There we go. The roll rats are officially mating. If we can get a couple of imprinted versions, that'd be great. Alright, the eggs are probably inside here. Alright, we got a couple megalo and spino eggs in here. And then we got a, a few spino eggs in here. Alright, we got a female that kept the stats. You are a 222. And we got... You lost the melee, so we won't keep you. And for the shine horns, we'll keep those. Everything else we can kill. Alright, Dire Bear. Let's see what you're all about. So you're in a fully imprinted Dire Bear. That kept all of your stats. You start off with 3,900. Let's see what kind of damage we do. And then I guess we'll end the episode off right there. And I'll see if I can get a perfect mutation. That's a beautiful Gigantoraptor. What level are you? 55? Nah, whatever. What was this guy? 20? Alright, so with the bite we do... 851. Not bad. Not bad at all. And I wonder what we do with the slash. 1100 damage. Let me make sure we do it. Okay, that's probably a headshot. Either that's a headshot or... 1107 is just what we do normally. You know what? Alright, that's cool. And we can shoot off the back of you, right? Yep, we can. Awesome. So yeah. Glad we got ourselves a dire bear. We'll see if we can get some powerful bears, and I'd like to see if we could get some mutated bears. That'd be awesome. But yeah, we got this 222 bear for right now. Which is good. Better than nothing. You know, I might not level you up. Just so we can, you know, get some breeding done. So we can compare stats and whatever. You know, the Baryonyx has some type of buff when it comes to fish. And so does the Spinosaurus. Why doesn't the bear... Because, you know, bears love fish as much as they love honey. So, you would think that they would go for it, you know? For some re But for some reason, they don't. Alright, let's check on everything else. We need a 232 Ravager, 232. Nope, nothing. What about 234? Nope. And for the bear, we need a 222, 214. Alright, you lost the... Actually, you know what I might do? Kill all of you. This female here. Which one's the female? You're the female. You can go into retirement. And then we'll see if we can get the perfect stats, the perfect male. Alright, that's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. And then we'll take the saddle off of you and then maybe put it on, like, another bear or something. Alright. We had a pretty eventful day. We got some breeding done and, uh, we tamed up a couple of bears. But yeah, with that, I think that's gonna have to wrap it up for this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It will really help out a ton. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Hazard mat. Hazmat suit. So, what do we need? Congealed... Oh, yeah, we need congealed gas balls for that. Might have to get one of those gas things. Gas collector, that's what we need. 20 red gems, 60 cementing paste, 75 metal, 40 crystal. You know what? That's not too expensive. What I might do is I might... I might make one of those gas collectors on my spare time. And we'll see what we can do from there. And see if I can get a hazmat suit. But, yeah, as I was saying... With that, that's going to have to wrap it up for this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.